students share with us, we win, right Carly? That's right. Yeah, that's exactly right, <laughs> especially when it's our work and we've got a fabulous a sunny day showcased this morning by Olivia. She's calling it a hot weather day, which we have had a lot of those. Uh, Olivia, this is, I love your sun so much. I like to draw sun just like this. Uh, with the little squiggly rays. I love it. It's so perfect. Flowers growing, a few clouds out there. We are going to increase our cloud coverage today. And by the way, it's actually going to be cooler. Look at this 75 this afternoon. That's going to feel so much different than yesterday uh, because yesterday was definitely one of those hot weather days. Don't forget you can submit your kids artwork to color the weather at KAAOTV.com. That is an email address. All you do is snap a picture of it and then send it to color the weather at K I I I TV. Don't forget the TV.com. Uh, here's a look at where we were yesterday. Whew, it was a hot weather day, definitely. Just like Olivia drew, 95 degrees. Average high is 85, so we're running 10 degrees above average. We were close to the record of 96 degrees. That was set back in 2009. Our low yesterday was 60 degrees. We are now falling a little bit behind our year to date rainfall because October, unfortunately, has been pretty dry. We do have a cold front on the way. Very low chance for a little bit of rain with this front. It won't be enough, but what we are looking at is 95 was our high yesterday, 79 our high today. So that's going to be a moderate front with about a 16 degree temperature difference. So not the strongest cold front, but at least it's a cold front and you're going to notice it. This one is going to be felt by more than just the humidity changing. Here's a look at when we have a chance of rain right around 8 a.m. That cold front approaching Corpus Christi. A few spotty showers mostly offshore or across our islands is where I'm anticipating the, the highest opportunity of rain. As the front slides south, look at these winds. The wind gusts get up to 30, 35 miles per hour on the coastline and especially out on the water. We're talking a chance for some 40 mile per hour gusts. Baffin Bay, so Kingsville and south of there toward the valley, toward Brownsville, really have the greatest opportunity for rainfall with this front. As it passes through, even Hebronville may see a little bit of rain, but areas south of Corpus Christi, I think have the best shot of rain. Notice we're staying gusty into this afternoon. Still a chance of rain there into Kennedy County by 7 p.m. Then our rain chances start to dwindle in the overnight hours and as we head into Thursday. Barbie John Thomas.